What is this? Woo! The laces! I love it! Can you see it? Yay! I don't know. Is this real? Temperature very low, look. Is that your death? Did you live there? Do you wanna eat this? Are you gonna eat this? <laughs> what do you mean? Eat dick! Are you gonna eat dick? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> The bet. See, climate for me is fucked up because not here for long enough, not really used to it. So fucked up. I'm wearing all this shit. I'm sweating. I'm cold. I'm sweating and I'm cold and I hate it. I'm not even sick and it's a fucked up because my fingers are cold. My ears are cold. Everything else is hot. <laughs> Why though? Because I need earmuffs and gloves. Fucking bullshit. I should be able to wear all this shit and be okay. However, I'm not. <laughs> Here's our paradox. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go get weed and everything will be better. Are they real? Antiques. Like relics. My phone is fucking freezing. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Doesn't like the cold. Anyways, hopefully you won't, bro. Break, whatever. What did I want to talk about? I went to a different store. We shop. I went there before. However, guess what? You didn't know I went there. Physically, actually, like now. Not now, like a few days ago. You know which one I'm talking about since you saw me coming out of there and we're going there since you have another guy working there because you put that guy there because you didn't like it that the other guy was lying and then you decided to egg the other one that was across the street. You could have done that for many reasons and one of the reasons is the fact that she would just open her fucking stupid little shop right across the street from him. That's bullshit. But well, whatever, right? Free trade. No problem. Use that as an excuse. You don't even know the concept of anything that is in the dictionary. However, you know what free trade is. That's good. As long as it's convenient. I advise you to mind your own motherfucking business. You're way too obsessed with trying to figure out whether I'm smoking inside of that fucking room or not. Maybe I did. Many, many times. Maybe I do it all day. Point is, I got magic. I can change your destiny. You die. I control where you go, what happens, what you see, what's real, what's not. Yet, you're sitting obsessively trying to figure out if I'm smoking in that fucking room. Obviously. Yeah, I could walk right inside of your stupid shop and light up a smoke in one of the aisles in your stupid thing and you wouldn't even smell it. So yes, yes, I was smoking all day for two weeks. You just went there this morning to clean up. Did you smell anything? Yay, exactly. Do you think the dog actually took a set on the wall or did they finger paint that? Love it. It's my favorite today. <laughs> and if the trip is just starting. <laughs> Even in the cold, wearing clothes is a struggle. <laughs> it starts falling off and I gotta be adjusting. <laughs> Sit is crazy. 
They always want to get me naked. It's amazing. I am going to have to bop this shit up. <laughs> my fingers frozen. <laughs> it's a struggle. So I have to keep my ears covered. <laughs> Sid, it's so cold. <laughs> Minus 20. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I heard you, see? I heard you. Over there. I felt the dog coming. Did you feel me coming? I smelled you. What do I smell like? Should I really say it? Is it Mercy? She wants to run away now. I don't want to tell people you smell like fruit. It's weird. Not normal, I know. It's fascinating, is what it is. See you. Eat some fruit later. <laughs> I'll get fish turn. <laughs> Dogs are cool. I don't know, I like all animals actually. <laughs> I'm not racist. You're racist. <laughs> you gotta always speak a favor. I'm like, I like everyone except for you. Who that? Who? 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 Wait, wait, what? Say what, nigga? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> Fat belly, little things on fat belly. <laughs> that girl's a town boy. <laughs> oh, sit. Put it down. <laughs> I just passed a lot of dog sign thing, and the Lord told me, like, why don't you just solve this mystery? What happened? I'm like, well. It's that in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, why? Oh, there's dog. See, I got to see it again as I talk about it. Great. It's that in a ditch. <laughs> the owner actually killed it and, and then told that he lost it because he didn't want to tell anyone that he killed his own dog. <laughs> Everybody keeps asking, I guess it's a part of the kid. And you know what I mean? How those kids do sometimes? They. they you know, like the the John John Bonnet or whatever. You know what I mean? That they just kill the fucking kid and then just cry and holy shit! I didn't do it. I don't know. Oh, oh. Look at that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You kill your children and like it was a mirror. <laughs> you know? So it's the greatest hit of the century. Of all times, and it always happens, and well, with a dog, it wouldn't be any different. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Babe, you resist, and when you do what I tell you, see what I mean? You don't even know what the fuck you're doing. I told you to turn this on, and start filming, and start talking. And you talk before you started filming. <laughs> That's why I don't like to try to make you do stuff. <laughs> Because when you do it on your own, I just tell you, it's amazing. <laughs> See what I mean? You go backwards. It's awesome. I don't. Great. So I'm not the one speaking. He's the one speaking. <laughs> the Lord. So, okay. What is it that I was supposed to say again? Okay. So I told you this morning that it was Valerian Valley, whatever. They got upstairs and I was just going to do that. And but it wasn't making worse. And, and now it's not just about justice. It's about revenge. Because you don't stop. And since you don't stop and, you know what I mean, you kind of figure... I am going whatever the fuck, and you got all my shit in there, and I figured I'm gonna be scared, right? I'm not really. You, you want me to allow you to take it out, or kick it out, throw it out, give it away, set it on fire. I don't even know. <laughs> you can just, I don't know, start working on yourself, leave it there, and wait until I can actually go get it, and I don't know, deal with all the other problems that you have. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> that I have to tell you how to solve your problems because it's my problem. You are creating problems for me. And since you're not going to stop, because I'm not giving you a solution to yours, I am going to make it worse, your problems. 
Yeah, you thought that I was doing that before. I wasn't. I was just trying to make you stop fighting. Now I am going to actively try to fucking make it worse, actually. And I'm telling you that right now because it has a huge, it's a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Because you thought I was being harsh before. Now I want you to know what harsh really is to someone like me. Not what I was doing. So imagine that. <laughs> yeah, as of right now, and it's not just for him. It's for everyone. Yeah, everyone who's not me, basically. Because this has been very busy street. Whatever the fuck I'm turning, it's super busy. And I know that's not, <laughs> not the way it is anymore. That you're basically circling me. And that, that it's a worldwide fucking conspiracy <laughs> to constantly be doing shit to me, right? Or whatever the fuck. And being disrespectful. I don't even care and trying to understand what it is that I'm doing and just to sabotage every fucking thing I do every day it doesn't even matter what it is if you can get a small thing you will try and it's I can't just keep talking about it over and over and over again I keep saying that but you don't listen because I'm still doing it right because I'm trying my hardest not to be a real real cunt because, well, if you think I was being harsh before, and now I'm telling you I'm going to actually be harsh, imagine that. <laughs> so, I did it. I'm doing it. I told you so. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll give you specifics when I fucking feel like it. All you gotta know is that it's gonna get even worse now. Multiply that by about a thousand because of the amount that I'm getting pissed off and every time you continue I'll multiply that for another thousand and so on and so forth and my powers are limitless numbers are limitless <coughs> and like you said that's power in numbers right it's just that it's mathematics it's not really how many of you are there <laughs> mathematics their powers in mathematics, that's what they actually meant. Learn that shit, right? And before you start doing dumb shit, instead, you just right there twist and turn and make you look like <laughs> it's better than it is. So everybody else joins in, and once you're in, you're in for good. I couldn't care less. I told you, this to me is just a video game, like actually. <laughs> it's RPG, role play. I've never been down here. Everybody always wanted to fuck with me, right? Before I ever came down here. Me, him. So, now that we are down here, peasants, meat suits, little ventriloquists. That's all you do. You do what I want you to do. I can control you. Can, so can my animals. You already know that. Right? The eel. Or whatever the fuck else has electricity that you don't know because you can't see and nobody needs to fucking tell you shit. <laughs> too many animals. Too many animals. Too many trees. Too much garbage. <laughs> too many eels. Not enough, me. I don't know. I think I like world domination idea. I want it. Yay, I'm not taking them. I'm dominating your planet. I'm taking it all back. Then I'm setting it on fire. With you in it. And then, when you're gone, I'll rebuild. There, that's judgment. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I passed Joe's mission. Now, I'm giving you a reason to be mad, bro. Like, real, real mad. So, I would love it that you made more noise. I would love you to emit more gasoline. I would love you to drive in circles more. Because guess what? 
All that scent coming out of your car is toxic. The scent you're smelling right now is toxic. That causes seizures. Right there. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my god, look at the smell. Delicious. So, that's toxic, that's toxic. What else? <laughs> That doesn't just give you headaches, it gives you seizures, but later, it's PTSD and it's about a lot more than going to the fucking army. So, how do you like your life? You're old, you're floppy, she's saggy, small, and dry. That one just walked out of the car right in the middle of the road. It's the apocalypse. I love it. It's my favorite time of the year. Happens every year on Christmas. Do you know that it's going red? Who cares? You're going red. No, I am going to enter menopause a lot earlier. <laughs> it's a curse. You're welcome. For what reason? No reason. That's containing. <laughs> yeah, tell your friends. Thank you. Gray hair. A big pet. And then it's gonna fall off. When? Tonight. Good, they're having fun. What else now? <laughs> 4025. I don't like it. It should be 420. Or even 45. 20? Maybe. <laughs> I'm choking. Echo! Hello! Uh, such a mountain. Yeah, I like it that I didn't come. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh shit. Okay, so <laughs> I turn off my music because <laughs> I don't even see the point. <laughs> this guy's. They're purposely being very noisy. My fingers are cold and I don't want to keep holding my phone up. <laughs> I put it in the pocket, but it's so windy that the wind carries the sound and then I can barely hear it. So it's not so much the cars, it's the wind and the Lord is telling me just fucking put it away. <laughs> because not only are they making noise like that with the cars and driving a lot more, they're making all this pollution. <laughs> To help, help me with the process of ending their lives, obviously. They're helping me. Thank you. Thank you for your help. <laughs> so, since they're helping me, <laughs> I think I, I would like to listen to their struggle. So instead of making them believe that I hate this noise, that I hate to see all this pollution, that I hate to see all this destruction, I'm just going to give them a quick reminder. <laughs> Even though I'm the creator, my name is Satan. And yes, God is with me and God is me, whatever. However, <laughs> I don't know, the fury of God is real, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I, I get angry and now it's over now, but. Whew. I don't know, I'm going back in time a bunch of times and change a bunch of sin. And yeah, so you'll never know when it actually started and I'm giving you a real reason to be real angry. <laughs> so I can watch you make more mistakes. <laughs> because you got angry. <laughs> and then you just throw temper tantrums like that and you do the dumbest shit, you're running out of gas, but then you're just using it for that. Running around in circles with me. <laughs> And then, <laughs> there's all this construction workers also 
wasting all their money on drills and equipment that they don't need just to bother me. <laughs> so they're running out of money. Yeah, they want to buy tickets straight to the moon. And they, since they figured that I'm probably telling the truth and they can't actually not do it. They, some of them still had faith, but some of them are losing faith. And <laughs> You know what I mean? They're all just like, well, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So I'm going to spend some money on actually sabotaging you because now you're basically moving my hand. I'm like, I'm not. I was telling you, like, if I can just try, I can definitely make it better. Since I made it, I created it. I sold it. I proved that I could. By creating it, <laughs> standing in front of the people and they're just acting like I didn't. So, not my problem. You can just cons <laughs> consider yourself told because it's not a warning, it's a promise. Everything's gonna get over, yeah. And I don't mean just on this era, all eras. I'm deleting you from existence. You know what I mean? You'll become a legend. There, once upon a time, that was a bunch of people and then there wasn't. <laughs> you know how you can put people in. Relics, that's what I'm getting you ready for. Yeah, I want you to get ready. You're going to become a doll. A sex doll. In Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, when, <laughs> so when the whole thing is done and we're done with you, look again, bro. How crazy, right? Everywhere I go, right, it's like so obvious. And it was so like, now that we're just making it real clear and it's really important because I may or may not create more people later. I don't know, I'm the creator, right? So it comes to that, and I actually want to do that just to see what happens. Then we need to make sure that people know not to be like you. You see? Because when you are like him, you got into accidents very quickly. Repetitively. Not only does that one make noise, it makes more noise than normal. So they did something to the motor to make more noise or they have something else running in there to make more noise and whatever, right? So I'm saying that that psychological wall warfare is fucking you up. Because I'm the creator, and it's just like the fact that you already accept it and you know that it has a huge effect on you. That's why you don't want to believe because you started noticing that when you really believe it, it seems to have more of an effect on you than when you don't. But it's the same. It's just that <laughs> it's the realization of that is associated with you remembering who you are. Because every time you remember who you are, you realize that I'm the creator. So then you associate that with just, you know, thinking that believing is what makes it happen. But that's not the reason. <laughs> you are associating those two things, but every time you have seizures, it's because you remember who you are and because you got traumatized from how many times you killed yourself in so many fucked up ways over and over and over again and never being able to stop. <laughs> <laughs> always hoping that I would stop it that I would eventually feel bad and start stopping it because I used to right that's how you think I just said I've never done it for you bro not even once I think that's why you're like that right because I've never ever ever protected you not even once never since you were shooting from the start you're like that's why you are nature's wonder you're so young you came out and you were a fuck up. It was fascinating. I was just like, she's the first like that. Look at that. No wonder you feel special, right? And smart and all that. Because you are the first to never, ever, ever get any help from me. Not even when you were born. You were just, it's not even like having an abortion. You were just like, yeah, kicking somebody out of the house before that person was born and making sure that she was already a grown up with a family. It's not even something you can understand because that's what happened to her. I kicked her out <coughs> of the house before she even felt like my daughter, which is what she wished she was. You know what I mean? Just kind of like Lucifer. It's just that Lucifer knows what it is like to be protected because I used to protect him, but I've never protected you, not even once, not ever. I would always tell the star just to make fun of you. <laughs> 
that was like she's like i won't even get to feel it or ever not even know what that's like right no never and you're the first <laughs> and i want you to be the example i want everybody to look at you and know what it is like to never not even once ever be protected you will always think nobody has ever been you will always think everybody's out to get you you will always think nothing's ever good you will always think happiness isn't real you will always think love isn't real you will always think there's only hate you will always think i created you like a, like a shitty person you always think those things and i told you that from the start so you you just believe that like i know and i can see it but so you made me like that and then you're just like i know you're dead because Everybody else got protection. <laughs> Everybody else got protection. I made a bad decision. Yet, even though you do realize that, as soon as you notice that I heard you and I'm smirking, you take it back <laughs> and then you act. I didn't say anything or... Uh, no, you don't even say sorry. Why do you say just like, can't blame me? <laughs> what do you mean can't blame you? I was born in the middle of a mess, I should have known better. Like what? You think that your decision was made like that based on the fact that there was already a war, so creating you in the middle of the war means... <laughs> you couldn't have made a better decision because it's in the middle of a war? Right. Listen. I understand what you say. You're trying to tell me there is no way in hell I will ever be able to create somebody like a good person ever. It will always be just me. <laughs> and that's what that means trying to figure out. Like, do you want to try to figure that out? See if you actually could do that before making it official that we are together or whatever from whatever you want. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Haven't I tried that a bunch of times already? They want more people, right? To see if they can side with. See what I mean? That one sounds more normal. The other one was more noisier. They had some sort of a thing on the motor to make that sound like that, but I'm gonna make it blow up. So that guy that just went by, his entire family gonna go set up on fire back in Jerusalem. And then there's these two over here, Japan, is gonna flood in the house that they bought. That one over there, Pakistan, her fucking house is gonna go set on fire too. That one too, that one too. Everybody who passes me today is gonna lose their houses. If you don't have any, somebody you know will. Why am I going this way? <laughs> 